I think the best one they ask me is, what kind of leader are you? I want to lead with respect and I want to lead with openness. Hello, my name is Mr. Ibrahim. I'm a GVP alumni and a Pasi scholar, and I'm from Somalia. But when people ask me here, I say I'm from Atlanta. Uh, so my parents are from Somalia, and Somalia isn't the best place to live right now. And I kind of, I never been to Somalia. I grew up there, and I always remember being a refuge. So I don't really remember being in Somalia. Uh, I think it's because of the war. They just lived their whole life in Djibouti and then the opportunity come up to go to another country and then they could choose to come here. But it was mainly because we were refugees in Djibouti and the process was a long time. So we were refugees since, ever since I was born. My dad is a very feminist person, especially from men in my culture don't really support their, their daughters and stuff like that. And he always like, as soon as I can remember, I remember him saying like, I never want you to depend on a man. Like, I want you to be educated. I want you to do this for yourself. And I, I never thought of that before, but ever since I came here and then I became the pastor scholar and I got all this, I can kind of see what he imagined it for me. I learned English in six months. So I feel like I remember one of my old teachers, whenever I see her, she's like, I remember you not speaking a word of English. And now like I'm talking to her and having a full on conversation with her and stuff like that. And I think that really is cool because they really gave me and my parents a community that we can call ours and be there with. GVP goes into depth. So they're more like on hands and experience. GVP, I think it's just 30 kids or 40 kids at most. And every teacher has 10 or 12 to focus on. And then we get, volunteers so here you get your own personal person that helps you with reading and writing and everything. GVP is a community so even if you leave you're st they're still there for you. Uh, me and my sister both got, both got our mentors from there they're still with us like for seven four years and I think they're still gonna be with us even after we have kids I feel like that's gonna be the process. My favorite subject was always English because I love writing, like creative writing, but I'm really good at math, so it's like it kind of differed on what kind of I'm in, but I always love writing. I love creative writing, I write poetry sometimes, but and then it's my hobbies and what I'm interested in are completely different. I want to do public health, so it's like it's the opposite, but like I like science and math, so I feel like that's a good way to go into college. At yeah, the second interview, they give you three top choice, and then they're like, so really, which one are you really interested in? And then I said GW. And as a public health major, I feel like it's the best place to study because it's in the heart of DC. You get a lot of internships and, and like the, the administration is right there with the public health, you know, faculty and stuff like that. So I thought it was a really good choice for me. And one thing I want to know, like people, upcoming Posse scholars, is just to be yourself. Like that's I think what Posse is looking for. Your unique self, your difference. Because if you pretend to be everyone else, they don't want. They want a unique perspective from everyone. I want to lead with uh, the, the idea of I want to learn more every day, that I don't know everything. If I make mistakes, I want people to touch me. And I don't want to be ashamed of that. I want to know my place in the leadership that I'm in. And I don't want to be the only leader. I want to be a part of a group where like, it feels like we're all leading together rather than just me being the boss. Most leaders back home are here to want people to follow them, whatever they say, whatever they do, without questioning their actions. So that's why I want to be this type of leader. Uh, coming from like that kind of thing. There's this question that I've, I've been asked before. The question was, uh, what, would you, what would you like for people to know about refugees? And the one thing I want them to know about it is it's really hard to come here by yourself with no like family, unless you come as a visa, but like, especially as a refugee, it's really hard. And I, me and my family were really lucky enough to find GVP as our community, but I think as a refugee, you just need that sense of community. And once you get that, you thrive here. I think every journey is very unique, and you don't have to be the little things. The little things matter that you accomplish in life, so it doesn't have to be so big to be proud of yourself. Everything you should be proud of yourself. Getting an A is an amazing thing. Getting a B is an amazing thing. Like as long as you know that you gave your hundred, it's that's all that matters. Because in life, I feel like life is really short. So it's, instead of being really disappointed in yourself, it's good to have be really proud of yourself or everything you do. It just it brings you more happiness. At GVP, we started this program called Alumni Advisory Council, or it's called AAC. 
It's an amazing program with the alumni just so we can touch stay with the school and the first meeting I remember we had, they brought two people that just, they were like, what do you want GVP to happen to? And they were like, why, why? Like digging dip, dip, dip. And I remember that one was really cool. And we are actually really like thriving now. It's becoming bigger than I imagined it would. And I'm excited about the things we're doing.